You know what somebody asked me the other day is, have, have you ever been attacked by a dog? Why? Because I was attacked by a dog. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's the awesome, Hi. angry Brooklyn. I Lee. like dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. <laughs> like you, what? you should love them. I like dogs. I know what kind of dogs you like. You like I'm beagles. A cat, I'm a cat person. You like beagles. Though. I was given a beagle, yeah. but yes, I right. she was I was fond of her. Uh-huh. But I'm a cat person. I like cats better. You than look dogs. like a cat person. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> very uh, stay at home. Nope. Deciding how to kill people. No, nope, it's just because they're <laughs> self sufficient. We have a guest here today. Yeah, sorry. So happy she came in. Focus. She did my cooking show, and I wanted her to come on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, from KITV4, Mika Miyashima. <laughs> We're so professional here, aren't we? Uh, I got deja vu right now. Wow. It's a loaded thing right there, buddy. How you been? I've been great. I've been so good. Thank you so much for having me. I just like that we're all here together. Yeah. Do you like animals? Oh, cat. my gosh. You have a cat, don't you? Don't even get me started. Yes, yeah. I have a cat named Stewie, yeah. but I'm a big... I have four dogs back home in Utah, so uh-huh. I always grew up with dogs and right. cats, but... I don't really have time for a dog right but now. But your cat is one of those that has its own social media platform. He is. Yeah. Stewie Miyashima. Wow. He's a he's a white, fluffy cat. He's he kind wears of... like a fur coat like Beyonce would <laughs> yeah. wear. Really? He does. A white he fur does. coat. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know, which is probably not the best for Hawaii, but I get him a, a strange haircut. It's well, called a lion cut. AC, oh, a though, lion right? cut. Yeah, but I didn't for three years oh, when really? I first got him. Poor guy. But yeah, he's he's a Persian, oh, okay. so he's very fluffy. Those and are fancy cat. Kind yeah. of a bougie you looking that cat. Rescue. So that's like a Kardashian, right? A Kardashian cat. Kind what of. No, they're Armenians. Oh, Armenians. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> hey, she said kind of. Just go with it. Wow. Can you just agree one time with just us? Just hear Kanye's. No, I, I love. All, <laughs> just to get back with Kim. I love all the uh, <laughs> animals, but I'm allergic to everything. I'm allergic to courses. I ride them all the time, though. I love cats, but I'm allergic. I smell a cat, my eyes close. Oh no! Yeah, Stewie yeah. would not I'm be. So you guys much would not be friends right now. This is like <laughs> no, I'm but if they, write this all down. I think if you if well, I always tell my friends, did you bathe your dog or your cat? Then I can come over because then there's no dander, right? That's what I'm allergic to. You ask people if they ow ow their animal before you come <laughs> of over. Of course. What do you got? Like a rider? Before I have people a nose can come to your house? like a hound. I can smell dogs oh, and cats wow. from outside. Really? Yeah. The diva well, list gets longer and no, longer, Hawaii. No, it's called uh, it's called uh, Great Nose. Okay. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have to wash my animals before you come over speaking to my house. Speaking of Kanye, speaking of Kanye, have you guys seen this whole battle with Kanye and Dave? Uh, yeah, isn't I've been awesome? seeing bits and pieces. It always pops up on social it's media. It's so funny. Everyone is talking about it. Uh, Dave, uh, SNL. What's his name? Um, Pete, Davidson. Pete, Davidson. Pete Davidson. Oh, he, you mean Kim Kardashian's latest boyfriend? Yes. Yeah. He has a name, but yeah, Pete Davidson. Everyone knows him so now. So Kanye has been posting these crybaby things, like "I'm gonna get you," and he's like threatening him. It's Guess hilarious. We're not having Kanye on the show now. Yeah. We're gonna get Pete Davidson though. I don't. He would know be that. good. Yeah. I he's don't awesome. have that long of. He's an so arm. funny. No, I got a, I got a one. You got a guy. Him. Yeah. On yeah. the Windward side, that's like, car. Yeah, can I come by and just watch in the yeah, background? Yeah, are you a Pete Davidson fan? I am. I like SNL. Um, I, I mean, I think he's funny. Do you think he's good looking? I think looking? him and Kim, mm, <laughs> you know, not my type. I don't oh want to be rude. Definitely think, not my type. Do you but think he's good looking? Because he, he, went, out, people he do. went out with Ariana Grande. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, some other supermodel. Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. Why do I know now, all of this? Now, I'm so um, sad that I know all of this. Kim Kardashian. Kate Beckinsale. I didn't know that. Yeah, but, right, gorgeous. but right before Kim, he went out with some other... Anybody you know? Yeah, some other actress. Yeah, some other actress. Yeah. Wow. This guy's got something. Oh, Megan yes. Fox? Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Really? So. Yeah, before she yeah. went out with Machine Gun Kelly. Check the facts. She went out with Pete Davidson. I don't think... I mean, Megan's... An, an well, look at who she's going out with now. But, who? Look at all the beautiful girls go out with just not so looking guys. Look at you two. First of all, <laughs> Miley Cyrus, Who's not Miley? Megan Fox. No, he went out with Megan Fox. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That one I don't. He's a really so. funny guy though. He is very. I hear from mutual friends. He's very friends. talented. And he's yeah. very. Um, he takes care of his women. He seems down to earth too. Yeah. Maybe that's what gets them. He treats them like queens. So. Okay. I mean, because really you got one of the things you got to think about is Kim had never had a, a, an ordinary life, like a, a normal life. Yeah, she did. So, well, she does it that she can remember. Okay. So now she has a this guy treating her normal. He dresses like he's homeless and and <laughs> treats him normal. Then it's a little different. 
Right? Yeah, it's probably a refreshing change. That's yeah. true. Well, everything's refreshing. You wouldn't know because you're Miss Universe, so Miss Universe didn't have a normal life. Well, I, but Kanye, I had a normal life until like I became Miss Universe, and then that was for a year, and then you I got 18, kicked to the yeah. curb, and then became normal again. It wasn't like I was Michael Jackson. But can you imagine a Kardashian life? No, yeah, that is not normal at all. No, well, what before they became famous, they were just. But they were Valley high school. Girls. Yeah, but they were, they, you forget that. You f you don't even remember she was the sidekick to the ha the Hilton girls. Oh, yeah, yeah Paris Hilton. When she was not cute and wearing but, ugly but, clothes. But that's what I mean, though. It wasn't normal, her life at then. And then she made the videos. That wasn't normal. Is that Nothing what was normal. Started? Wasn't it life. normal, though? How many videos you got, buddy? Come on. Well, did you watch it? Actually, don't answer that. You <laughs> Come on. You, you don't watch Pornhub.com. Come huh? on. I have my own category. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. It's under Hapas, half Filipinos. Wow. We got to take a quick break. Don't go it's anywhere. My Mika Miyashima's hanging <laughs> out with us. A it's a Hawaii thing. <laughs> Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Mika Miyashima is hanging out with us. How long have you been doing uh, journalism? You know what? I have it made. I just made six years, like a month ago. Really? Nice. Yeah, wow, I know. It's that so went crazy. Fast. I was like blown away that it's been six years yeah, that but went fast yeah how long really were you fly. anchoring was it three years now um two years a couple years yeah is it two years yeah like two and to, a half years i was actually. trying to tell andrea producer when i met you so it was two years ago it was pre-pandemic pre-pandemic yeah no but it was before that because so, you told me you're you're you i can't you can't say nothing but i'm gonna oh really yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Really? We were drinking. At were Whole we Foods. that good of friends that I would tell you not to say something? We were, <laughs> we were drinking wine at Whole Foods. Yep, so I do you remember didn't get that. The job yet? Yeah. Mm -mm. So that was longer than two years. Was it longer than two? Yeah, were, it's been longer we than two years. We were drinking in public without a mask. Yep. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seems like such a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I barely times. remember that. Do you like times. it? Because it's such a hard time to do journalism right now. It really is, but no, I love it. I mean. It gets tiring like any yeah, other yeah, job, yeah. you know, but um, but it's I, I I've loved the past couple. Of years. I've learned yeah. so much. And um, I think the health aspect is really, yeah, you yeah. know, exciting and, and interesting. So I've I learned just want to know, like, what the new world is like at KITV after someone like Byron Allen buys the station. Did like, he come by? Did you see him? You know, I, I met him over Zoom, but I have not met him in person yeah. yet. So he didn't buy Super. everybody Mercedes Brenzes and like, it wasn't <laughs> that would like, be nice. you get a bonus, <laughs> no, and you get was, a bonus, that was you get Clooney bonus. Did that. Like, that would be awesome. Yeah, because he just came into town and was like, yeah. I'm writing a check and now I'm your boss. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's been good. Good changes, definitely. Oh, yeah. um, we've been adding people, you know, not right. not a lot has changed, but we have a lot of new faces, which mm -hmm. is a great thing yeah, just yeah. because you were stringing like they were like, a yeah, and path. there's so much that goes on behind the scenes, you know, that people don't really know about with news. It's right. a lot of work and support so, is needed. Yeah, and yeah. I guess you, that's what are you. Uh, how do you like the cancel culture aspect? Are you getting any heat for anything? No, not really. No, it's no, so uh, weird. That luckily. was a pageant question last night too on was at the really? stage. It was like, do you believe and support the cancel culture? Which is kind of weird because anybody that would say no, yes yeah, would be, would be like gonged. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I absolutely think everyone should be canceled. Well, and you're like, I was. I guess I more specific. You know how you because you deliver the news, mm -hmm. you don't make up the news. But a lot of people not. today. 20% of our population think you make up the news. Yeah, there's a lot of, that's the tough thing about being, you know, a journalist right now is there's just so many different Attacking opinions and yeah. yeah. And so it's tough, but all you can do is just keep reporting the facts, yeah. what you actually know, yeah. you know, keep your opinions out of it. And I mean, really a tribute is yeah. important as well. So yeah. Do you That's get, all you can do. So like here, I get fact checked every five minutes. Do you get fact checked ha, from people yes, that watch? Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. no, from people that watch, um, not so much. It's more kind Internally, of... Internally, they have to hold themselves to a certain standard. Yeah. I mean, look, we're in Hawaii. Of like, course. let's be honest. She no, comes I, from I a bigger market. She knows what it's that. like on the I'm mainland. I'm just saying from people, you know, local people can be brutal sometimes. I, you know, I've been doing but this for a while. But we've also grown yeah. up in a, in a different world where people can give their opinions on air. Hi, yeah. Joe Moore. I love you. Boop. <laughs> Um, and people will just roll with it. Whereas yeah. on the mainland, you would get sanctioned. You would even if you're as big as Joe Moore, you cannot be Walter Cronkite and yeah. give your opinion. Of course, they right. will take you to task because that's yeah. not what you're allowed to right. do. But locally, we got fuzzy lines and people but like. But we you, are so. starting to get a lot of people who like to make noise. So you don't get any of that. 
Not personally, but of course, you know, I think every news station probably has people yeah. that are emailing it. We definitely do, but Stop it personally, no, which I'm thankful for. But right. we, of course, we always have, you know, the people emailing in or saying we're leaning one way or yeah. biased, you know, but I mean, we really are reporting what we're given. Right. And then you have to go out and get the facts yourself, but it is a and tough then time. And another interesting thing, because other stations here in Hawaii are owned by mainland stations. Right. Byron Allen's an independent guy. So he don't have no like skin in the game as far as you have to be reporting what all my 50,000 other networks yeah. across the United States are reporting and then do some of your local stuff. He's just letting you guys do you or? Yeah, for the most part I mean, that I know, that's that pretty, I know. That's pretty interesting to talk about too. By, and by the way, for those of you watching don't know Byron Allen, not the basketball player from the Lakers, Byron Allen. He's the guru uh, <laughs> entrepreneur. I've watched him the last 25 years and he was very, I've actually done a lot of things that he does. You know, it's kind of like when you, uh, you can't get a gig somewhere. So you just go create your own TV show. He has so many different TV shows that he used to He's host and still host. Yeah. He literally is a mogul. And like a lot, I, a lot of them aren't that good. I remember him from it's that's incredible when he was yeah, one that's of the incredible. TV hosts. Yeah. That's how kupuna I am. But you should bring that back. Like that's incredible. He's like um, he's Brooke, like, no joke. What? That's a good show. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah, it was his show. What? No, but you should bring it back. Hey, Byron Allen, if you're watching this on whatever station, right here, you should come on the show and yes. talk about all the stuff you're doing. We're gonna here take on a quick break. Well, when we come back, more with Mika. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. Homeworld, locally owned and quality brands. Let us help you create your perfect home. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Brooke, Lanai, Mika, hanging out with us. What's the What's your day like? What time do you go in and, and do the, you you go on at 6, but what's your day like? When is this I start? have a good schedule. I start at 2 p.m. and then I finish at around 11 o'clock at All night. Right. So second half of the day, I can oh, sleep nice. in, yeah. I can go get groceries. Feed like, the cat. That's why you exactly. text at 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. I can't fall asleep until like 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to just turn off the clock once you're at work. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You can't just wind down right away. And right. you're on Monday through Friday? Yes, Monday through Friday. S six and ten? Uh, five, six, and ten. Five, six, and yeah, ten. Yeah, they're the yeah. only ones that have a five, right? Or uh, have hour everybody. long, six oh, hour long. But yeah, yeah. So I have a good schedule. I can't complain. Yeah. That's a good one. And you, uh, your, your co-host is... Rick Kwan. He's from San Francisco. Yes. Well, Texas, um, and but he came from San Francisco. And he's from yeah. the market. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Yeah. He is Kwan. <laughs> yeah. Is it? He's awesome. Yeah. He's like Asian and Filipino. I mean, but he was like a big name in San Francisco, too. He yeah, was. yeah. He was, that's where I know him Oh, because when you worked up there on the radio? Yeah, yeah. I, he's like old school. You legend. guys know each other? No, I never met him, but oh, I used to watch him yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah, he was he's like, a legend. He was yeah. like the... I guess Joe Sport. Moore or I he mean, did sports too, but he right? was like yeah a yeah that's how, yeah. that's on the, in a lot San of people Fran. know yeah. you know who's yeah, big yeah. in San Fran right now too Larry Beal really a local boy from Hawaii the one that oh. looks like Howdy Doody yes with the chin that's him yeah Larry I did you watch Larry. Did, Ruben our directors from San Francisco did you ever watch Rick Kwan in San Francisco yep yeah, see, everybody knows. <laughs> Everyone knows him. You know, Seriously. I, yeah, Amy Hill, There, she's friends with him from back in the yeah. day when she was in, and they did Asian American. I'm surprised because I thought you would watch yeah. Univision. I work, I work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Larry Beal, too. Larry Beal, he used to work at K Channel 9 here. And then yeah, he I mean, to, he did everything here. Yeah. yeah. Who did you look up to as journalists? Like a journalist. Paula Akana, obviously. Oh, she's Number awesome. one. Oh, Love she's amazing. Paula. Yeah. Wait, did but you're you not about from a real... here. I'm not. I actually am from Utah. So you went to school here. Yeah, oh, I went okay, to school okay, here. Okay. I have family from here. My my auntie and my you know my dad's cousin, and my grandma's sister are from here. Yeah. Mine and Haina. So okay. I have Hawaii ties, but right. I actually grew up in Utah. And but I went to UH. Graduated right. From okay. UH. So you were watching Paula when you were here, yeah. going yeah. to school and whatever. Yeah. Did you intern or work for her under her? I I interned at KITV for a little bit, um, doing sports when I was in college. Oh, okay. So. Like eleven oh, years yeah, ago. Yeah, Kaola. We I miss yeah, Kaola. I know. I miss that him was every your day. Boy too. Yeah. yeah. She's um good friends with Amy. The whole family. Yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know That's how I met her. Yeah. Oh, I, I know Amy. she connected us. Yeah. 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 Amy's awesome. It was funny because we were. I was with Amy one day. I don't know. You weren't there, but we sent a. She sent a picture of me and her to you, <laughs> and I didn't. We didn't know that you guys knew. We knew each other. Yeah. It's such a small world. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah. You um you came from Utah. What? 
freshman year to go to UH? Um, actually, my sophomore year. I transferred. Okay. It's confusing. I, I transferred from University of Redlands in mm. California oh, nice. um, to UH. So my sophomore year. But then I still spent four years at UH. Because Redlands is like the other UH because a lot of local kids go to Redlands. Yeah. Where is that at? In Redlands, California? Yeah, like in mm. North. San Bernardino. E San Bernardino Valley. Yeah, near San Bernardino, That's exactly. Because right. you... a lot of local kids end up there. Whittier, all of those college, Loyola, they all mm. end up at those colleges. Uh, Chapman. Chapman's yeah. Oh, huge. Chapman's a big one. Yeah. I used to go there all the time for yeah. uh, Hawaiian Day. I went there too, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Drove from Redlands. Me and Augie would go do comedy at Chapman, <laughs> all those small colleges. Now, did you come here to... Um, play sports or you journalism no 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 i just i transferred here i was actually a communications major okay. so wasn't sure what i wanted to do but intern at kitv mm. you know learn the ins and outs of how the newsroom works and and on the weekends i would go out and do news stories so um but yeah that's my background Good and you have family you. here so it wasn't like it's like where am exactly I this is thailand i don't know anything yeah like, yeah, yeah. And this is thailand <laughs> <laughs> well, Thanksgiving and stuff, it was nice to have family, you know. Yeah, somewhere and, to go. And but I can't go all the way to your laundry. Utah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, were ju- you were just somewhere, I meant to ask you this, you were just somewhere and there was a big slide. Where was that? A big slide? Was, was it the Utah? Great Wall of China? Uh, no. Like a mudslide? No, it's like a oh. metal slide. <laughs> She's in news, so I'm oh, like, was this like a Utah. news thing? <laughs> Is it in Utah? Yeah, that was in Utah, uh, Park City. There's the Alpine Slide. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. went to ask you because there's the tubing? one. tubing? Were you tubing in... on that? Or? Well, that, no. So during the winter and summer, there. I, I think that was during the summer that you must have seen that. But they have these like metal, it's tobogganing. Oh, kind of. tobogganing. Oh, yeah, so you can control. It's pretty fun, though. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. They have it on the Great Wall of China now that's really? not gonna yeah happen. it's a it's a nope. my friend just went well, all my hawaiian airlines friends just sent me pictures of it and i thought that's why i thought you were in china that's oh my dangerous God. yeah no, so it's a, it's pretty cool it. it's safe right in yeah, china? Super yeah, well, yeah is it yeah, they give you <laughs> wait a, we're about china or utah they, they give you a helmet and insurance so it's safe okay yeah geico we gotta take a quick break don't go anywhere mika's hanging out with us it's a hawaii thing For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, Brooke, Mika. Thanks for joining us. What do you like to do when you're not working, doing the news? Hmm, Hang out with Stewie, my cat. And I I like to hike. I like to just relax. I'm usually pretty anti-social. Where's your favorite hike? Well, okay, Cocoa Head is like, you know, hurts so good. I don't know. I've been doing that lately. That's torture. Okay. Have you done it? No, I don't live on that side of the island. You shouldn't give me that face. Well, let's go. Take her tomorrow. I I live in Palisades. I can (laughs) just go up into the cool heebies. I don't need Cocoa Head. There's too many people at Cocoa Head. I know. (laughs) That's the only thing. It's crowded. Blame the Instagrams. That's why. How fast can you do it? Not very fast. I think I did. 20 minutes last that's time. That's good. Well, it was good for not having done it no, in like that's good. three that's years. Really How long is I it was supposed impressed. to take? Uh, me, two days. It's brutal. <laughs> Makes sense. I have a friend, though, that does it six days a week, 12 minutes. What? Oh, my gosh. She wow. runs. She runs. Yeah. See, that's goals. It's no. pretty bad. Though. I know. In college, I used to do it twice in a row. In college, we used to do I, a lot of things. Before. I know. <laughs> but isn't it what don't you live in that area in order to frequent that or is that not a like a vahipana type situation it's only 10 minutes from here so people just go there because it's Exercise. the runyon canyon of oahu yeah. Yeah. is that what it is and it's beautiful okay. i mean it's one of the most beautiful views you can get yeah on a clear day you can see lanai and kaho olave well, you can really? do that from anywhere along the ocean. No, not on a clear area. day. Yeah. Okay. No. It reminds me of the Culver Stairs, actually. Oh, Times it? five. Oh, okay. Got <laughs> yeah. it. Where's the Culver Stairs? In, in Culver, Culver City. City. Oh, in L.A.? <laughs> Let's follow the bouncing ball. Well, I don't know if it was Culver, like C-O-L-V-R or C-U-L-V-E-R. Culver City, where yeah. Sony is. Yeah. Okay. So you have to say city. city. Okay. Culver City. It reminds me of the Green Stairs, too. Where yeah. your Stairs. house is? Green Street. Oh. Diamond Head. Punch bowl. Nope. I don't know how to get out. <laughs> see what I get? West you guys side, see what I get? West side girl. Uh, I don't mess with any of your guys' uh, punch bowl. I do it four times a week. Those are the ones I see you posting that on your yeah. story. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, a, it's, it's only a hundred steps though. But I do them five times. Wow. But so you basically what, what do Cocoa Head. What is Cocoa Head? 5,000 no steps? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, it's way more than that. Huh? But How it's many? not just steps, isn't it? It's steps and dirt and then Rail like Kua Hai yeah. and you're like you're hiking in yeah. like trails, yeah, but right? But they no, renovated it. Oh, it's straight. Yeah, it's tough. But the the um Coconut Coalition did such a good job on renovating the steps because yeah. it used to be pretty it was deteriorating oh. and you know, 
the steps kept getting like further and further apart it felt like but they did a great job i went like last week do you know why that train track is there what train track there's a train track that you walk it goes all the way up to the top oh. it was for uh, during the war they used it as a lookout so it was a bucket they would put all the equipment up to the top so they, so that was actually owned by the military and then they gave it back to the state so was everything else on the aina yeah pretty much <laughs> brooks house too she just moved back in <laughs> where do you like to travel um well i mean i've been dying to go on an international trip but yeah. of course that's Not way happening. too hard to plan right yeah. now have you been yeah. to japan yet i have oh, i wow. want to go back so bad i only went one time and it was in in college oh. and it was only for 10 days so oh, it wasn't gotta, enough time you gotta come Shoot on my food tour him asking about the you gotta come on my food tour. there you go okay yeah. i'm there let's go sounds we're gonna, great we're gonna bring a bunch of uh celebrities on a tour we gotta go do we have to pay you do no she doesn't Ooh, what we got you? that on got tape <laughs> we got that on tape kurt she got a free trip yeah. like let's go ahead and capture that for her for later uh-huh. you got me you got me kurt let's we'll see if she takes it yeah you want to give her something oh are we there oh, sorry i have one job hoy okay yeah. so thank you for joining us today oh, thank you so much we for have some nice me. party gifts you, oh, you didn't win it. but you got some nice gifts thank you yeah. so you much win. you're winning at life we got some 88 teas. Oh, I love it. We got you some pigeon moji. Okay, let's do a pigeon moji oh right, real quick. Are we? Yeah, hurry. We oh, got, wait, wait. We, we, we got, got Hawaiian chip companies, our new sponsor. I love So, this pigeon oh, emoji, you got to open many, it up. Many, many Max, you're our sponsor too. And Thank you got to you so read. Much. You got to read your fortune in pigeon. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <safety>. so <laughs> you win so safety. Like you win no. the H. You're no, fine. you're going to get canceled. Oh, you're my gosh. From fine. some okay, guy so in Nanakuli. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Some guy in Nanakuli is going to yell at I don't the wanna, TV. You can eat it or not eat it. That's totally on you. It tastes good, though. Okay, okay let's so, see. And tell us your numbers, too. Thank Ready, you. go. You don't need to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Wow. That was Yes. I love this though. We That's gotta go Vegas one. now. We gotta go Vegas. We're Mika Miyashima, Sorry. ladies and gentlemen, follow her on her Instagram and uh, her cat too. She has a he has his own Instagram, <laughs> Stewie Miyashima. We well, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Check us out on the YouTube long version. Ahui ho! It's a Hawaii. Extra. Thank you. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai Brooke. Uh, this is the, we're gonna swear. This is the extra version. Yeah, <laughs> sounded like it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the long version of uh, our show, YouTube. Mika is hanging out with us today. Hello. Um, we were talking about Japan. Stuff. Are you full Japanese? Half Japanese. What's what the other actually? Half? Full mean. Um, my mom. Both parents. Oh. Yeah, my my mom is. Um, I, I have a little bit of Irish. Okay. And then the rest, like Scandinavian. That explains all the scotch you drink. <laughs> Lies. I don't even <laughs> like don't scotch. Come for us, leprechaun. Lies. It's cool. What is your drink of choice? You're a wino. I love wine. Yeah. It's totally Did growing on me. Did you just call her a wino? Yeah, that's what we call ourselves, people who drink wine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you that's can't wino. be in the club. I cannot, no. actually. I'll be excommunicated from, from La'ie. the Mormon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even step foot in La'ie. You don't drink, right? I, I do was, not. It was raised She doesn't Mormon. do caffeine. So. She doesn't do soda. Do you do caffeine? Good for you. I, I'm sure I do. There's an dark oh, so chocolate. Oh, you're a Jack there Mormon. A, th- no. Because <laughs> you're not supposed to have caffeine, right? Well, I guess. I don't know. I didn't check with... The Utah? Bible. It says you're in your Bible. Well, that's the Book of Mormon. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's I just the made Book that of up. Mormon, but it's cool. Does it say no caffeine? I am non-practicing. I married a Jewish okay, gentleman well, from let me, ho- let me ask you this. I mean, from Hollywood. So, so Jesus drank wine. So you guys are not allowed to drink Jesus wine because he did? Jesus made wine. Let's yeah. be Oh, like, I saw the Last Supper. He was go. holding a cup. Yeah, no, but he made wine out right. of water. Yeah. That's why he's magical. That's like the dealer. That's worse. No, I don't right? understand. I don't think you're getting I don't the take point. drugs, but I deal drugs. <laughs> I don't know about that. The dio- diocese is going to come for us. It's oh, going to be a Mike, whole thing. They don't watch this show. Yeah, they do. They got better things to do. <laughs> uh, we were talking about your mom and is what again? Oh, Irish? My, yeah. Irish, Scandinavian, and then my dad's side is full Japanese. Oh, okay. So. Hapa's it, on both sides. Is somebody in show yeah. business in your, was it your mom or dad? Um, Both of them, actually. Yeah, what do they do? My dad, he's an actor. Is um, he? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, he, that's how he knows Amy Hill, oh, actually. That's, how. that's the whole, they used to play together. Asians all know that's each other, yeah. So, yeah, they did improv in LA together. And then, um, yeah, so he's an actor. I mean, he lives in Utah now, and, you know, it's slowed down a lot, mm-hmm. but. Um, they randomly filmed Disney movies in Utah, so that's oh, why like a lot of randomly? people recognize him from. I don't right. know why. Utah's a spot for that. What movie but, did he do? 
Um, well, High School Musical. Oh, really? Um, double Team. I don't know. A lot of the kids recognize him from that kind That's of stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Huh. So, does he, he do the Comic Cons and stuff? Does he do any no. of that stuff? Oh. Is he a singer? Cool, though. Um, he has a good voice. Yeah, do you sing? Why no, absolutely not. Because he does Disney <laughs> movies, and uh, High School Musical is a musical, and they sing, so I was wondering True. if he sang in any of the I don't think he movies. was in any of the, the um, yeah, I don't think he had to sing no. in that, oh, but okay. that would have been entertaining. Played like a teacher? Yeah, he was a principal in okay. that. So. And what did your mom do? She was a dancer, um, and Like what kind of, of dancer? Volunteer. She did ballet, and she toured and did, you know. Nice. Um, a professional, like... Yeah. yeah. She was actually trained. yeah, she had yeah, great ballerina. Um she was a magician's assistant oh. back in the day and oh, so they're showbiz blood. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Do you are you a dancer? No. <laughs> I don't know where I missed out. I did not get those jeans, unfortunately. I, well, I missed everything. Too. I just <laughs> I report about the yeah, dancers yeah. and singers. singers <laughs> yeah. But that's I'm, where that's gonna go. I'm like the most unflexible person ever. Like I, I played <laughs> soccer and basketball and I just yeah. That's why I thought you came side. for sports, because I thought you played soccer. Yeah, I played I actually I played and I tore my ACL um oh. my senior year. So that really set me back. Oh, okay. and I had just come back from an MCL, you know, injury right before that. So I just kind of... Oh, so then in high school, you were a jock? Uh, kind of, okay. I guess. But, okay. you know, we only had... Like Malia, a beater. Like... Yeah, she's played soccer, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, but she's older than you, though, I think. Yeah, yeah. Know I know Malia, though. Yeah, yeah. I think Malia went to collegiate. I'm That's how I right, met right. That's how I met you. It's through Malia? Yeah, from Is Malia. That... Yeah, Yeah, I it was so. at, um, uh, what's her name's wedding Shayla's party? wedding. Shayla's wedding. Yes, uh, I remember that. Okay. Yeah, but I know Shayla's husband. Yeah, Matt, he's great. Yeah, awesome. I just saw him the other day. But yeah, my sister played soccer for um, LMU. Oh, okay. So yeah. yeah. We, yeah did yeah. you play for UH? No, 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 or no. Or just high school? I did not. Just high school. I stopped in high school. Um, After yeah. all the injuries. Yeah. You it would have been fun, though. I don't know why I thought you played. You, I thought you said you played soccer at UH. No. Maybe I just not, was but, too many I mean, to drink. You assumed <laughs> that it was because she was with Malia, maybe, that they were like. Yeah. M- maybe. must have gotten us mixed up or something. Yeah, because yeah. Malia played for UH. Right. Did she not? She did. Yeah. What Besides... Um, um, you're uh, traveling and hiking. What else you like to do? I just like to spend quality time. I mean, it sounds cliche, but with mm. friends and family, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, I feel like during the week we're just go 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 with like with work. I just kind of like to hang out and just chill. And you have no you hidden, know. hidden talents that we want to know about. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I used to clog. Which what is, is really what, random. What, Not what, what you would think. Clogging <laughs> it's is like, like a, with those tap, da- tap dancing, but Not it's like a traditional, like, it's a traditional dance type of thing. It's like a yeah. Swedish thing? Or no, something? that's what no, everyone thinks. It's, it's not like the wooden shoes. It's like a, a double tap. Yeah. So I guess I kind of can dance. Can you do but not, No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this long like time a ago. Show? <laughs> what? That's kind of cool. It's right. like it's special it's shoes, dancing, isn't but it? Cooler. To, it's yeah. a special type of shoe. When's it's a tap shoe with a double tap. When's the last time you did it? Um... High school. Oh well, no, actually, not like school. a family like party. A long Is time that ago. like your mom no. makes you go take those classes? <laughs> <laughs> I think she did. Yeah. She like enrolled us in. You know, we were doing sports, but we were also right. clogging, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and then we got to the point where we had to choose one of the other. Sounds clogging so funny. Is, clogging is like random. <laughs> it's you, so you, yeah. random. Especially because your mom's a ballerina, you think you'd be like in ballet, but it's like we're in Utah yeah. at that time. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna take clogging. That's but we were be we were pretty good. We used to like we went on cruise ships and performed. Really? Like we were legit. That sounds, <laughs> so, it sounds so funny to me. Because it's kind of go like clogging. the Irish, it's like those Irish dancers. And I think that's why. Yeah, oh, because sh- the flanner, flanneries or whatever. Like they had that whole big Irish yeah. dance craze dance. that went, yeah, Lord yeah. of the Dance. Like oh, Lord of the Dance, Everybody wanted yeah. to do Michael that. Michael Flatley. Yeah, Michael Flatley. And River right. Dance. But that's what, all the yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how did your family get in, end up in Utah? So I was born in L.A., but then... Um, there was a Northridge earthquake that happened, I yes. guess, when I was four years yeah, old, and yeah. it was right by where we lived. Right. And so, and then the Rodney King riots, and I don't know, my mom just, me, I was four, my sister was three, and so she just kind of wanted to go somewhere yeah, safe. Yeah. She didn't right. feel really safe yeah, away yeah, where yeah. I guess. It was a rough time in LA, for sure. Yeah, and I mean, I don't remember anything, but I, I guess, you know, we had a friend in Utah, and she heard of a great school, and mm. so we just made the move, and... I grew up in Utah. Yeah. But it was a lot of Polynesians like in Utah. Yeah. Oh, it's another not Vegas, just the antithesis actually. Don't come from the Mormon church. There's a town between Utah and um and Vegas and it has a lot of Polynesians in the middle. It starts with a B. Uh like a lot of in Utah? 
I don't know if it's in Utah or if it's in on the Vegas line, but it seems like a lot of football players that played for Utah from Hawaii. Yeah. And then they end there. up in this town. This I don't Weird. know what it is. My nephew actually lives in it. I can't remember the name of it. I mean, the Mormon uh, church I mean, I is big. I mean, that's big business. Massive. Zion Inc. in Utah. But yeah. like a lot of Polynesians, just not from Pacifica in general, move into Utah. They either are going to BYU or they're missionaries and they're going yeah. there because it's where the center of the church is. Or there's a lot of like yeah yeah i'm polynesian cocoa in the dirt over there for sure who's your favorite sports team um yeah I, well the utah jazz i mean that was always my team oh, growing up. Yeah. <laughs> but since i've lived here honestly i've kind of fallen off and i really don't keep up with them as much mm. but i grew up going to games and stuff yeah. dodgers i mean by default yeah, yeah, like my yeah. family's big time dodgers fans right. um but did you start doing of- sports when you first got into Broadcasting? Were you doing sports first or no? No, I never did. I you just, were just helping Kay Carla, right? Yeah. Okay. She, uh, she used to date a Dodger. No, I didn't. Did what? <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah. I was like, what? I no, Brooke did. start these rumors. You did, didn't you? We, Chan Ho Park and I were friends. Oh. Tommy Lasorda thought because I was Korean and he was Korean that we should be friends. So I hung out with him a couple times. Did you guys make out? did not date. It did was not hands? a date. No. <laughs> We were just you, friends. You know, I was you engaged ask, what, at what, the time. You don't to know a what, local boy what from dating here. is. You, so you got to ask what the level is, oh right? Oh, you God, just local gonna... guys just go. Well, we just oofied. So that means you was <laughs> dating or not? Nah, we just oofied. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Nope. Not a thing. So we could have had tickets to the Dodger games. If no, she just, I could have got them from Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> I didn't need Chan Ho to get me tickets. Can you still get tickets? <laughs> I cannot. I love Dodger games. I can't, but they're not that hard to get. Uh well yeah but you want the I'm good not seats. Not trying to have to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, want yeah, good. Yeah. You don't want to sit with the bleachers with the dollar beers. I have beers. a Dodgers the jacket yeah. with my name on it. Do you really? Yeah. Did you do a first pitch? No, I no. When you Miss Universe? No, I sang the oh I, national anthem. I sang the oh anthem there once. I was there for Korea Day. They do like a Korean National Day. Yeah, they serve. Yeah, they were really, really good to me during day. my year there. But it was because I met Tommy Lasorda at a racing event down at Long Beach. He's a good guy. Yeah, we sat in a. And he was a good together. guy. Yeah. And then he was like, you're Korean? Only Korean Miss Universe, that's a thing. He's like, oh, I got a Korean guy on my team. He did not make a lot of friends. He was, you got to be friends with him. <laughs> okay, sure. Do you keep in touch with him? Tommy Lasorda is dead. Park. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chan Ho Park. Uh, no, I've seen him at a couple events here and there. He's married, lives in Texas, I think. Has a yeah. lovely family. Speaks English now? Yeah, actually quite well. He did back then too. Yeah. So, yeah. Mika, what kind of music you listen to? I listen to everything. I listen to hip hop. I like. Do you like RV. the halftime show? Yeah, I love the halftime show. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? I loved it. I thought South, it was awesome. Southern California, like yeah. that yes. was it in a nutshell. You I know loved what? It. You know what was cool for me is because I interviewed all of them. Really? In my career, I've interviewed oh, all wow. of them. But they all, when I interviewed them, they were all gangsters. Hungry, and they were coming up. And, that's why. But they were mm. gangsters, and they were hard, and they weren't nice people. You know that even kind of thing. Even 50 Cent? Oh, yeah. He was even harder. He was the yeah. hardest one out of all of them because that was his mantra. That right. was he had to portray. And then to watch Dre come out and can't keep a straight face. He was smiling. You knew he was so happy <laughs> yeah. to be there because he almost died a year ago. Really? Yeah, he was in the hospital. Dre? He had a stroke. Oh, I didn't oh, know. Yeah. So that's why. Talk about it. Turn yeah, around. turn around. Yeah. And, that, and they said that's why he wa- really wanted to do it, too. Because, right. of, you know. Well, I think everybody during the pandemic, everyone's mm-hmm. all like, yeah. if, if this goes south, I want to make sure I do everything I want to do before it all ends. Right. So. But it was so cool because my... My 18-year-old, my baby's mama, she was in Dre's video. Oh, I didn't so know that. So after the Super Bowl, she started texting me, what song was mom in for the video? Like, um. And I was like, I don't know. Why don't you ask your mom? <laughs> you know, and all day there was this conversation about Dr. Dre with my 18-year-old. He's so rich no yeah. <laughs> yeah. like i mean just beats by dre and everything like he just yeah. sat there yeah. he was just like sitting there counting the money and you just knew like you, their whole countenance was like they're trying to be like that guy from compton yeah. and they've so far away from who they are now. that's what i mean it's so cool to see it i mean they uh they're all their albums dre snoop 50 and mary yeah. j Bly's top five albums yeah, yeah, on yeah. Apple yeah. this week yeah yeah that's what it does for you it's insane yeah what else do you, you like the local music Oh yeah, I love yeah. I love yeah I love local music. I I, gosh, I really should be better about like music okay. and I don't really yes. Yeah, so this is how I know I'm getting old because sometimes when I'm in the car, 
I actually just like silence <laughs> so bad. Like, I've trying, never been like that before until like this year. <laughs> but I love on. local music. I yes, silence. I do that sometimes. I'm like, oh too. my god, this has I never happened. You know what I like to do in the morning? I listen to music in the morning when I get up because yeah. it just puts me in a better mood. That's true. Yeah, and then I bla- I have a new car, so I blast music Ooh. now. But what yeah. kind of car do you get? Uh, just a Honda Accord. Not your you lying. always He's have new flowers. <laughs> <laughs> right? He Honda does. Accord. He's like a mafia person. Really yeah, like every time new I talk phones. to you, like, oh, I just got a new car. He's always got new phones. Like, I just saw you when we were buying cars. <laughs> I know. That was like the last time I saw you. Was... Did you buy a car? Um, I leased one, yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. You, yeah. Like, what'd you get? I got an Audi. And I, I'm happy I'm nice. leasing it for a couple nice. mm, Three years. Yeah. Are you going to flex and talk about your energy car? No. <laughs> okay. I don't want anyone to know. They're going to key it. <laughs> They're gonna see me. And go, this has is a car. Tesla. No, thank you. Oh, nice. Blue. A yellow one. Oh. <laughs> blue. Four door. <laughs> I'll get you the license plate and I will put it on our Instagram uh, feed. Sh- Shut it. <laughs> now, I, 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 have you been? I'm, I'm sure you're under contract and you can't say. Have you? You must have been out for bigger markets already. No, wait, offer? Does that yeah. mean? Oh, no, 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 no. I no? mean, well, I can't talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to so get you myself have. in trouble. No, 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 no. Yeah, she doesn't want to make it. Let me explain this, how this no, works I, for you. No one, Mr. Allen, we're speaking directly to you. She doesn't want to ever make it seem like she's not happy with of course. the place that and she's at right now. And that really is the truth. I yeah. do love She loves that, being, especially that now, Mr. Allen. was a total um, compliment. No, absolutely. But in yeah. this industry. And you answered, yeah. you answered it very but well. But it's true. But it's true. <laughs> when I was younger, to be completely honest, I thought maybe I would want to Parlay. go back to the mainland. Parlay. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe try and go back to L.A. or, you know, I don't know. But now I've learned I just, that's not really. And because yeah. Mr. Allen, she's so happy at the station that she's at because <laughs> well, it is there's independent. there's a lot of ass kissing going on And right lots now. of things happening with the Byron Allen Industries that have been come to Hawaii via Maui that she's very happy where she's I at. Really and am. And is very she's happy great. being there. So you should come on our show and you could talk about how much you want to keep Mika <laughs> in the seat of power there at your station do you feel do you uh can you feel the energy now when you're on the street like people because you're part of everyone's nighttime Every routine yeah. do you feel that energy now yeah i do yeah. i do it's yeah i totally like well sometimes you know people it's a double-edged sword girl i get it yeah totally sometimes you know. you're in longs and you don't have your <laughs> yeah. lashes on and exactly. you just want to get in and get your pads and I get out look like a little boy and then, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, and then somebody will walk up to you and be like are you work lee and you're just like yeah I'm like oh and yeah i get like, my period oh. once a month and you're just like i'm sorry did i disappoint you because i have my daughter and my menses so can <laughs> i leave now it's yeah. when you like run the credit cards like oh Oh, you know? yeah. They look at the car like, yeah. oh, yeah. shit. Oh, that's you? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. Well, Hawaii people this are pretty nice. Me. They yeah. are, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. No complaints. Sometimes they're a little great, but... <laughs> But I think it, if they're, it's You're not. You're like the mayor, though. We'll literally be sitting somewhere. I'll be like, hey, Ra! Hey, 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 how? <laughs> How's it? How's it? How's it? All right, Tara from Nanakuli. Like, Are oh you a dancer God. at Roxa? Oh God. <laughs> I'm just trying to eat my sandwich and he's running for office. That's thank you so insane. much for coming in today. Yes, thank you so much for having yeah, me. It was, was so, so fun. much fun. Yeah, the only way I, I get really to see her, I got to book her for something. <laughs> That's the smartest way to be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go, uh, we'll all be better. three of us go have some wine. Well, I know, you can. Let's go to Whole Foods. Just two of us. We'll go hang out with Amy you can at, watch at her rooftop decks or whatever she has at her place. Did you go to Amy's vote, parties? Yes. I actually didn't make it. No, <laughs> she, See, I'm so she, bad with she stuff. She has a few, uh, though. Yeah, she wrote I have, Yeah, I don't you know. You have a standing invitation at yeah, Amy's. Trust she's me. the best. I, yeah. She did invite me to one, but I, I wasn't able to go. Yeah, because so. she was delivering the news till 10 or yeah, 11 I think I was. Work. I think it was, I had to do morning shows. Yeah. Yeah. That's how yeah. long ago it was. Yeah. But. Well, you're doing an amazing job. Keep working oh, it. Good thank job. you. Congratulations and thank you, Mr. Everything. Allen, for Make making sure, it so uh, pleasant for you. You guys subscribe to the Come channel. Thank you, guys. Please share it. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Ahui ho. Bye, Byron Allen. Hawaii